Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another Rise of Mordor Siege View today. This one was sent in by a member of the Discord, so if you want to send in your own replays that feature on the channel, then do check out the link below in the video description. But we do have an excellent 3v3 Siege View today, with three elven armies defending an elven city against three armies of evil. And we have, it looks like the Eastlings over on this side attacking, and we have some uh, Lasgal and Archers up here. Excellent... Uh, like angle to fire down at like these clan guards and just about anyone that comes nearby but like these clan guards here focus down but yes we do have the eastlings we also have uh isengard and we also have dol Guldor, which are over here both of these two are fighting together we have t two woodland realm armies and one noldorian army as well so you can see balance power massively outnumbered about uh well it's over two to one it's nearly um getting on for three to one but uh, yeah, the elves are a strong faction, as we already know. We've done quite a few videos on them, um, but they are a very strong faction, and they will hold the line, I'm sure, for a very long amount of time. Especially these shipwright nobles uh, from, well, from Linden. So yeah, I keep calling Linden Noldorian elves because that's basically what they are. They are the style of the, uh, like the Noldor. But, I mean, they're getting absolutely battered by artillery. None, no kills yet, as it's trying to hit these guys. I'd possibly send up some archers. Um, these things have not got bad archers, and they'd certainly be pretty useful here just to focus these guys down. Personally, I think he was pretty safe on the bridge as well. The artillery was not hitting them. But we do have some uh, Lasgal and archers about to fall back off the wall. They've done some hits and done some damage to these clan guards. I'm not quite sure what else were they were firing at, but it'll be interesting to, s interesting to see where they decide to hold. It does look like they're going to hold the, bri uh, the bridge, the gate. It's a pretty bold uh, move to hold this uh, this gate because, well, they're flanking on the walls and they could just go off the towers. But, so unless they uh, start putting stuff light at the bottom of the towers, it could be an interesting pit situation. But you can see here the elves are repositioning and this is going to be an excellent angle down onto these clan guards. Those guys over there. I mean, they look awesome in their formation. But yeah, these guys are going to get focused down now. Yeah, loose. The arrows. Um, and then over on the other side, it looks like we also have a lone ram going up. We've got some white hand stormers going in. Not a bad unit to send in first. Very much a, like a, well, white hand stormers, they do sound like they should be the first into the breach. And we have a great defense on the wall here by the elves. This is going to be insane. I can't wait to see them fight for these walls. Um, but yeah, Callum Bell is a pretty nice sermon, I will admit. Um, I do like the, like the little bridges that like come over here and it's, like gives us just another dynamic to it. It means you don't have to go through the walls to get into the city if you don't want to. But you will lose a lot of main getting over these walls. We also have some uh, cavalry out there. You can see some Noldorian equestrians. We've got some Noldorian swords. We've got lots of uh, infantry and archers ready here. Looks like it's going to be mainly Linden that's doing it. Oh, a volley just coming in. It's going to start burning this house. Then over on this side, I think it's the same again. I think it's uh, Noldorian Spears. Yeah, I think it looks like it's going to be Linden doing most of the defending outside the walls. Which will be interesting to see. Certainly. But yeah, if you've been enjoying all the content recently and you want to see more Lord of the Rings stuff, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and leave a comment to show your support. You can see here the elves now getting off the wall desperately. There's last Garland Archers. And they're getting ready with the last Garland Spear already on one Silver Chevron. Elves are already elite enough. They don't need to have sh silver chevrons. But uh, as you can see here, it looks like Goldor Blades already off the wall. They've got a flank onto these uh, last Garland Blades here. That's not so good. And we've got uh, Loki Rim coming through the gate straight away. And the combat is underway. But I mean... Unless those Goldor Blades engage on the flank, it's going to be a pretty easy... I mean, I think they're just gathering up a bit of a sizable force. And yet, here they go. Now they're going. I do apologize for the camera. It's going to jut around a bit. It is a very cramped city. Lots of buildings in the way. But yeah, I mean, these uh, elves now are not going to have such a fun time. They were just fighting on the front, but now they've got a flank to worry about. Oh, God, towers. And then over here, we've got more macemen getting ready, fighting off Las Garland Blades again. Also being flanked on this side. Um, I guess they're trying to hold this line sort of. I mean, it is ever so slowly holding. This unit is certainly out of position. Need to needed to really fall back a little bit more. I can hear uh, Lasgal and Archers getting ready to hold, coming to hold. 
over here we've got some uh, more gold or blades by the looks of it yeah they're not gonna break through this is a shield wall as garland blades and like the gold or blades are just like they're getting off the tower and running instantly in there they're not gathering up before charging in which is just kind of like what happens to the towers but yeah we've got uh, arrows coming in looks like it's gonna be from a uh, loki room i would be surprised i just realized that doggle Do did have stuff over here so he did split his force oh that's not so good Lots of men there dying from the tower. I don't know if they were already all dead from, like, just the tower or they died in combat. That's not so good. And already this unit here is going behind. I'm not quite sure how this has happened. Gulder Blades. I guess they can, yeah. They, well, they, yeah, they very much can. They can just sneak around here. And they're already engaging the spear unit in the rear. Well, it's also been engaged in the front. So, I mean, Gulder and these things over on this side doing a very good job coordinating their attacks. To give themselves a chance against these elite elves. It sounds like the gates have been destroyed on the other side. So we're going to see Isengard come through with his white hand stormers now. Already lost quite a lot of men though. They've lost about 30 men. And here they come. Hold the line elves. You've had a lifetime of training. And it's a very long lifetime. And there, there they are. The Urukai. Look at that officer just strolling in like he doesn't even care. He doesn't even care. And the big seed shields of the Stormers are in now. And yeah, this is a very good choke point. Huh? This is how you should really hold it. But they also need to make sure they don't get like flanked on the sides here. I mean, they've got arches on the wall here, which is excellent. Oh my god, these Noldorian arches look awesome. As I try to get a good angle with my camera. That is excellent. Hold the line. Yeah, these Noldorian archers rack up kills. I mean, the Isengard troops are very uh, well armored. So, I mean, it's going to take a lot of arrows to get through them. And you're going to have to shoot them in the rear. I mean, this unit is actually looking the wrong way. This unit does need to get turned around. They've already lost 20-odd men from doing so. Looking the wrong way. But, I mean, I mean, it allows us to admire them. They do look awesome. This guy here, look at the officer, or the banner carrier. He's got two arrows just in his shoulder. Reminds me of the berserker that Legless tries to shoot. Yeah, here's the rest of the Isengard force getting ready. Does of course, I mean, the white walls there of Kalimbel. We've got the towers coming up. Looks like we've got some Lasgarland blades ready. They're going to get flanked on either side, though, by Isengard. Oh no, we've got Dolgal Dur here taking up these towers. Okay. Isengard and Dolgal Dur have very similar armor, I will admit. Like, at a glance, it's very similar. Obviously, when you uh, get a bit closer, you see that Isengard's a little bit more professional. And they're like, Dolgal Dur's is a lot more jagged. And I pref I think, I don't know which one I prefer, you know. I think both have really good and got their own, like, good aspects. But yeah, I do. This, I don't think this last Garland Blade unit is going to hold for long, personally. I don't think so. It's pretty stretched out on that wall fighting against two units but we do have plenty of units in reserve for the elves I mean not plenty but some oh I didn't even realize this how do they get this unit across then that's a, oh so it's coming across here so it's like one of those flanking forces and it was going after the elves like archers which they, I mean they're still doing and killing a few but then the uh, equestrians uh, Noldoran equestrians are in here and they're just running these guys down so, I mean, he probably wants to give them the order to actually attack because it's actually not doing his archers any good. Just standing here. But, I mean, they've got a good angle on anything that comes across this uh, across this bridge. I mean, there is some clan guards here waiting. I mean, right now, if I was uh, the Eastlings, I'd be fully mobilizing more troops across here. Like, you've taken the bridgehead. You can now flank round. You've done the hardest bit. Getting across the bridge is the hardest bit. I mean, this ship right now really should have stood at the uh, end of the bridge. They've really compromised that. But, I mean, these archers here are... Uh, they're, st they're still whole. I mean, they're still dying. I mean, those uh, gold or blades are very low, but they're they're winning apparently decisively. Not maybe to the archers. Oh yeah, here this is not a good sign. Las Garland blades here, uh, already losing in combat. And they don't have any Noldorian blade uh, swords being sent in now. The elves unite again on the front line. I mean, the last last battle we did for Rise Mordor was a great river uh, river crossing. 
with a bit of a siege thrown in. And you can see all the elves holding together. And there we go, they repulsed that attack. Only for another one to appear. I like how they're forming this diamond formation. This is probably pretty good for like attacking, but not for defending. Over here, losing as well, so they're gonna need to send up more troops here. It looks like they're already sending them up. Hall Guardians, oh. Hall Guardians are a very good unit. I, I mean, they could easily flank around with this uh, Las Garland Blade unit, just get around the back, quickly route some of these guys. Like, the archers can hold their ground for the elves. I mean, but I mean, concerningly, uh, a bit of a concern, like most of the Eastling's troops are already in here. And I mean, bunching these troops up, probably a bit of a mistake. Like you're just tiring them out before they even get in there. And I mean, if the archers can get, I mean, these archers here surely will start firing into this blob that's back here. That's a really good target. Uh, we now got the Elven King hit. Did they? No, those archers did get out in time. The Elven King is now coming in to help his Noldorian equestrians. I mean, we've got fire now coming in from the Loki Rim Archers. They're trying to, I presume, trying to take that Elven King out or weaken him. Certainly won't take him out. He's too strong to take out with a couple of arrows. But there you go. We've got Spears already losing as well. And these have two Silver Chevrons. And these guys are losing to Macemen. That's kind of a surprise. I mean, yeah, Swords will beat Spears. But, like, two Silver Chevrons and their Elves. It's kind of very, that's very surprising. Uh, over here, oh, they made a breach. Okay. It's, yeah, it's a bit chaotic everywhere. The elves are really getting flanked hard in a lot of areas. We've now got Noldorian swords here about to lose to half orcs and uh, to some Isengard swords. Well, infantry. So this is not good. Noldor is already on the back foot here. Or Lin Noldor or Linden. I mean, it looks like he's brought all his troops in from outside, which is definitely a smart idea. That was just an area that they couldn't hold. This area here, it's just, unless you've got, like, certainly if playing as the elves, you cannot do that. You've not, you will never have enough troops to be able to hold this line. This is a very good defense. This will hold for a long time. Noldorian Spears uh, here holding two units of them. There is a way around. They do need to keep an eye on that. There is a way around. Um, whether these archers will just focus them down if they try and flank, who knows. Um, but they are actually running out of reserves. We've got some Hall Guardians here. But that's it. I mean, there's another Hall Guardians unit there. But, I mean, they are running out of reserves. Are the Elves. But, I mean, so the attackers. It is turning into a bit of a grind. Who can uh, kill who first? And there you go. That's Garland Blade surrounding these Clan Guard. And these Clan Guard won't like that. A very good unit um, just to hold the line. With their big shields and spears. But they won't... They won't... Uh, Appreciate being surrounded. And there we go. Uh, that clan guard's probably gone. Dol Guldur over here. And uh, the Eastlings slowly trying to get through this gate, but they'd have done better sending more troops onto the wall, which, uh, in fairness, like they haven't really done over here. They've like sent stuff onto the wall, which is then coming down here. And it's running into Las Garland Spears. And Hall Guardians, it would seem. Or it looked like there's Hall Guardians. So there's at least one Hall Guardian down there. Yeah, here's the rest of them. They're getting ready. But it looks like the plan of the uh, attackers is they're going to use these Urukai uh, infantry and they're going to try and flank around. Not a bad idea. They are running out of areas. If you focus down this way as well, you're stretching the reserves of the attackers to breaking point, probably. Um, firing down here, though, is not a good idea. They've got plenty of reserves on this side. Um, Eastlings maybe just want to slow down a little bit the attacks if possible in some areas because he's running out of troops. I mean, there's a huge blob of elves down here which is uh, never getting broken through. Like that's job done. Don't need to look at that again for the rest of the rest of the battle. That's a unit of Noldorian swords in there. Las Garland blades, more Las Garland blades, spears. There's no way they're getting through that. Not a chance. Not a chance. Warriors of Rune now in here, or Warlords of Rune, I should say. I, 
always get that those two mixed up. Well, there's not even worries of Rune yet. They should make one though, just so I feel better about myself when I get it wrong. Otherwise, I'm just making up a unit. But the, here they are with their ram horns. Um, I don't think they'll break through. They'll do well against the shields, because uh, the spears, because uh, shocking which it does. But they've got whole guardians in of their own. Yeah, you can see here that guy just getting impaled. Oh, that guy also getting impaled. Poor man. Arrow's coming in as well. We've got the Elven King over here as well. Just giving him a bit of mor moral support or morale. Might be giving moral support as well. Like, yeah, you're so good, guys. Well done. You can do this. Also probably giving morale boost as well by just shouting at them in a inspiring way. I guess it's the same thing, really, isn't it? Moral boost and morale boost. Even though they're spelled differently. Here I am wittering on as there's like a huge battle's going on. But I mean, yeah, this Noldorian archer unit on here, I presume this is from the towers. Weak into half strength. And they're out, they've still got ammo. I'd be firing down these pikes here. Which is now the concern because these elves are just throwing themselves into the pikes. It's not going to end well. They need to fall back, let the pikes come in and then flank. Over here, Goldor Blades getting surrounded by uh, Las Garland Blades. do love just it. I mean, it's awful to say, but the elves, like, on the floor sprawled out. It is, does look really good. It does remind me of, like, the scene when Thrandall's, like, looking at his uh, kin in, like, the middle of the Battle of the Five Armies and goes, yeah, we've had enough fight and enough of us have died. We'll just go home. It does remind me of that scene and it's really good. I do like that. Over here, the unit that I thought was going to lose, these last Garland Blades, has actually won. Um, I presume it's probably with this archer support that I'm now seeing, which is now getting also focused down. Yeah, Lords of Last Garland, a really good unit to have uh, to support you. And it does look like those uh, Last Garland swords have just about one. And we've got more Goldor Blades, though, coming onto the walls to meet them. And what have we got over here? It looks like we've got some Goldor Glaives. Or oh, Half Orcs. Okay. I do apologize, it's a bit dark, but that's just the. That's just the unfortunate thing with flying by the walls. It's very dark, but if I zoom in like so, you should be able to see a lot of what's going on. Oh, the carnage. The absolute carnage. They've not decided to flank around this unit. I mean, you can see a few Berserkers are doing it. Uh, good to see Berserkers are in there now. They'll certainly do a lot of damage. But if they can get this Half Orc unit around uh, in column formation, like set up to here, then turn it, get it round, you'll definitely do a lot of damage to these guys. Like, these Noldorian Spears are losing now. If you can get this unit around, then you can surround them. Um, I really think they should do that. Like, these Half Orcs uh, do so much better in the rear than they will just head on. Over here. Uh, these Noldurian swords are just doing a good job. They're holding these guys back. There, there's no chance they're getting through here. Noldurian swords in a nice choke point like this. No way of being flanked. They're, they'll be fine. And uh, we've got a... T oh, look at that. A brave cavalry charge of two men. By the Noldurian equestrians. Charging into the champions of Dol Guldur. That's a brave, a brave thing to do. And they're going to die like that. <laughs> just look at how many men they send in to deal with that. That concerned about it. Um, but yeah, they've got some good units around it. I possibly send up the gold door pikes now. Force these guys um, force these guys back, these Noldorian swords. Certainly would be a good idea. I mean, they don't look like the Noldorian archers are getting good angles over here. You can see the red uh, bow means like the, their view's obstructed. Um, but yeah, they've got lots of archers left over here of these things. But they're basically out of these things. They've got very little left. And we've got Dolgor Dor with some stuff around here. Why has he got this unit all the way over here? He wants to, needs to send that in to help these things out. Just, you know, give them an, give them an option. It looks like uh, we've got some Warlords of Rune over here. The Eastlings have sent stuff around. Jeez, it's got that desperate. But yeah, they could definitely take out these archers, could the Eastlings. But we've got more, more Lords of Last Garland up here. 
insane amount. But yeah, I mean, this is the this is the mistake that they made. The attackers just going through, piling through this uh, this gate. You don't need to send like a. You don't need to send like four units in at once. One unit can uh, will hold back or like will occupy this gate. You can then just and then have a second one in reserve, possibly. Then send more over. Like they were flanking around. They were doing a lot of damage. They were like over here, for instance. They've really like caused a lot of problems here. Uh, this is what's left of those two units. Um, they've got more stuff on the walls here. Jesus, this is a good angle as well. Nice angle here by the Noldorian archers, just focusing down this low key rim. That guy's not even looking the right way. You look firing. What are you firing at? You're firing to the water over there, pal. Or are you trying to fire at them? If you fire at them, I'll give you a. It's okay. But if you're trying to just get your supper and shoot a fish, that's unacceptable. Unacceptable. But, I mean, it does look like the uh, elves are certainly going to contain to a relative, like... It looked pretty bad to start with over here, and it's still not looking 100% okay. Certainly in this blob here, this is a very concerning blob. Um, but they've got lots of, like, Lords of Lads Garland that uh, are still available. I mean, this is looking good. They've got whole Guardians here just to clean anything up. Uh, Goldor Blades fighting these Lads Garland Blades on the wall. they definitely going to need to help support that fight. Um, I don't know how the pikes are losing. Like, how have these guys forced through the pikes? I'm not quite sure. But they, they've done it. And uh, these pikes are now losing in combat. I guess they just... I don't know. Don't know what they did. I guess maybe the pikes reformed and they got caught out. Or maybe they're being focused down by archers. But these guys do look beautiful. Every time I zoom in, I just can't stop admiring them. I can't wait for the next, like the next factions as well. If they're going to be of that same quality as the elves, that'll be amazing. I mean, it does help that the elves have quality armor. So when you do a good job of modding them, like in, they just look really good. Where have you chosen to die then? I heard someone say I've chosen where I'm going to die. You should do the same. Where have you chosen to die? At this gate here? Because, I mean, it looks like where everyone's going to die. These warlord, warlords of Rune are now in. And they're actually get, making a bit of headway. Forcing the line back. Allowing more troops in. But, I mean, this is it. This is all that's really left. There's like a tiny clan guard you now here. Um, but this is it for, like, the Eastling push through the gate. It's like thousands of men have died at this gate. Of, like, orcs, men... And elves. And there you go. It looks like more clan guard breaking off. They've had it. They've, they're done for the day. And it looks like they've... Oh, it's the catapult crew. They've found a way through of these things. It's just to let the catapult crew uh, get inside. And it looks like, uh, sadly, some uh, clan guards... Oh, no. The elven king's coming over. This should be painful. I kind of want to just see this because we haven't seen the elven king... In combat enough. Oh, of course we get stuck on someone all the way back there. Of course we do. That's just fate that it was supposed to happen. But yeah, these guys are going to cut down the Onja crew. And that that's a job done there. Over here, uh, let's put the hood on, have a look how bad it is for the elves or the attackers. I'm going to say... I'm going to say the uh, the elves have probably got this. It's now. Come, I think it comes down to this blob here. To get some stuff done. The reinforcements and Dolgal Dora are good at getting inside. This blob still could do some input. The elves are starting to turn the tide. These Hall Guardians here are uh, winning. And Isengard's just... His troops are exhausted. All, they, all his troops have been committed. We've got Dolgal... Uh, we've got Goldor Glaives here. These guys could do some damage. If they can, like, chop down this unit and then flank the guys at the gate, then they release everyone at the gate. Um... They're not breaking, are they? They wow, those gold or bl glaives broke at 60. Or, I think they were like at 60, 70 men, but they're getting chopped down now. Wow, that is surprising. Did Dougal lose his general? No, he's he's still there. What happened? I would have thought they would have held longer. But, I mean, you can see on the walls here they've broken, but they can't get off the walls. That's kind of funny. These poor guys are just getting chopped down by the elves ever so slowly. 
Yeah, you can see our archers going in. And they're uh, basically using up the rest. Well, if they've run out of ammo, they're going in. Oh, this... Well, this is what they needed to do earlier on, was catch out archers like this. I mean, they are they are out of ammo, and they're Lords of Las Garland. Oh, that's interesting then. So, Goldor Blades will still beat Lords of Las Garland then. Like, 48 to, I mean, 150. You do imagine that these uh, Goldor Blades, if left undeterred and unsupported, like, either side was unsupported, you expect them to win. I mean, numbers, they should win anyway. Numbers say that they should win. They outnumber the elves two to one. More like three to one, actually, I think, at this point. But there's another Lord's Last Garland here. Actually, no, these are Lord's Garland archers. Just the basic, the basic archers, which is still really good. But, I mean, yeah, here come down the arrows. I mean, I think that's going to be what's going to tip it. These guys are yeah, losing decisively uh, to the Lord's Last Garland in combat even. Mainly just because of these other Lord's Last Garland focusing them down. And they're going to go down to like, I'm sure this will get them down to like 90 by the end of the, all these volleys. But um, yeah, they've recaptured the gates here by the looks of it. Eastlings are nearly finished. I mean, they, they fought hard, I will admit. They did fight hard. What are the balance of power now? It's Yeah, it's about 2 to 1 now, still. But I mean, the balance of power has shifted much more in favour of the elves. I mean, it's not in favour of them yet. But I mean, they were doing well when it was even further and... Uh, not in their advantage, so to see it like this, good chance they uh, they may win this. Bane to the step coming in, they might want to mobilize these guys, they could charge them in, they'll rout that unit of spears. Like, those, those spears won't stop the uh, won't stop the cavalry, they'll just go through them. It's a tiny unit. Like, to see, like I come into this side, you can just, the frames ever so slightly go up. I think it's just because of all the dead at that gate. All the men still in this gate, actually. Look at all these gold or glaives. Look at that sea of black coming in. They've actually routed that unit. And here we go. Lords of Last Garland are now having to go into combat. And we've got some more Noldorian archers coming up. They might need to go into combat as well. Hold back all this. Oh, God, the camera. A sea of darkness coming through this gate. Held back by a thin line of... I want to say, like, bronzy gold. But like, it's like almost like a rose gold, isn't it, their armor? It's a bit like that. It's how I kind of... But, I mean, they flank rounds. The champions of Dolgaldor. Good idea. They can go and take out these Lords of Lasgal. And they definitely will beat them. Champions and Dolgaldor are a very good unit. And they should beat these uh, beat these elves pretty easily. Uh, the standard, you never had one elves, I don't believe. I don't actually think I've ever seen an elven standard bearer yet in Rise of Mordor. Yeah, there's no time to help the wounded. Uh, but they're just they're just condemned. That would be certainly something I'd really like to see, is like, men that don't like die, but they get wounded. And they're just like, they're out of the battle, but they're like, I don't know, like, leaning against a wall. Like, holding their chest or something where they've been stabbed. Or, I mean, Rome 2 certainly got it a bit. I think Attila's got it as well, like, men, like, do have, like, dying animations, which is like, they're wounded, but, but like, fatally. Like, you could have, like, men. What would be really cool is you have, like, men that are, like... I guess it's kind of what, like, routing units are supposed to be. It's like, they're the wounded that have, like, got out a bit, along with some fresh men. But, like, certainly, like, walking wounded, like, going back to the main cap point would be pretty cool. I don't think it would ever be possible, but it looked really cool and immersive. Obviously, we fight with the whole Guardians here on the walls. Uh, I don't see these Goldor Blades breaking through. This is... They're not even fighting the entire unit, the whole Guardians. Um, yeah, they're actually losing decisively. They're trying to take out their general, hey? Um, oh, wow. Yeah, they've really pushed in here. Finally, like, the gold door reinforcements pushed in. The pikes are losing decisively. Um, again. I mean, they're fighting a lot of different varieties of elves. How these spears here have helped for so long, I will never be quite sure. Like, they definitely should have flanked around these guys. I mean, because they've forced them back, though, quite a way. Oh, we've got artillery coming in now. This is not a bad target. 
Certainly will be wanting to focus down as many people as possible with your, any range you have here. Um, but it does look like we've got Merkwood Raiders here. They're f shooting these guys, but I'd really be going for like these shipwright uh, nobles in the back. Like they're sh showing their sides. And they're pretty bloodied up, so you take a lot of them out, and they're blobbed up. But yeah, this elven line looks awesome. Look at the blades just in the back as well. From but yeah, it does look like they've uh, taken my advice, and these uh, Merkur trackers are trying to fire into like this blob back here. Yeah, that, that unit certainly is. It's trying to hit these guys back here. I mean, you can see uh, Champions of Dog trying to get around. Only 20 of them left. And they're going to go into the back of these uh, Noldorian Swiss. They need to attack in the front, though, as well. But, I mean, these, uh, these shock infantry should break pretty quickly. And on this side, it looks like it's just the, uh, just the archers left and the general. I'd have sent the general in by now. We could have routed these sphere units. Looks like they're just going to use every bit of ammo at first, though, to try and route these guys. I mean, they've done a good job as these things. I don't know how much of this is, like... We've got forest rangers here as well. I don't know how much of this is, a uh, Like, of this side is actually then transferred to, uh, like, this front. But, like, if that's all that's left, along with... Well, the general's, like, I think at the back, isn't he? Oh, that's the shipwright noble's one. Uh, whatever, wherever he is. Um, I think... Oh, he's the elven king, isn't he? Oh, the general has died. Okay. Who's general? I presume that's, um... Dolgul does, yeah. Okay, yeah, so, well, anyway. So, if that was all that's left, anyway, of that elven army over there, they've done a very good job of these things, but I don't think it is. There's certainly some knackered hall guardians and stuff lying around. I think they had probably quite a few men left. I mean, if you look at the balance power now, it's uh, not looking good for the armies of evil. I can't wait. I mean, I do love seeing the elves win. I can't wait till someone does manage to beat them. It will be good to see. I'm pretty sure in every video that they've been in so far on, on the channel, they've won every battle. It shows the signs of a good faction, I guess. Um, over here, we've got more Noldorian like swords coming in. These uh, shock infantry just charging in. I mean, they have dealt with the side completely. And we've got a fresh unit of Hall Guardians yet to go in. That is just ridiculous. And Dolgodor's not going to be happy with uh, losing a general. And he's got most of what's left. I mean, this is Isengard's general in here. Some White Hand Stormers. Look how bloody up those elves are there, though. They've seen a lot of action. As they're beating up some Mirkwood trackers. These poor little orcs. They're like, no, we did nothing. We just throw little javelins. Don't mind us. And they just get, like, cut down instantly, losing a head there. And there you go. They're falling back. I don't know if that's them running or... Yep, that's them running. Shattered. They're just like, oh, they've lost, like, about 40 men. No, a bit more than that. More like... Uh, maybe near, near... About 80 men. Uh, that is pretty ridiculous. Such a large unit, but it is a skirmish unit, I guess. They don't appreciate being charged by shock infantry. I'd send the spears in. Just do a full-on push down this hill now. Take the momentum, push back Isengard. Then on this side, I mean, yeah, it's kind of ground to halt. Whatever comes through this gate here, just gets cut down. I mean, we've got gold or glaives here. I mean, these guys might break through this uh, this line here of uh, archers. I'm getting here some like something coming up. No, nope. I thought I could hear something. Ah, it's gonna be these hall guardians. There you go. That's just gonna secure this whole flank for them. Hall guardians in there. That'll secure it. Yeah. That's unfortunate. But it do, I mean, there is not many elves left, and balance power now is massively in favour of the elves, as the uh, sides even up in numbers. Bit of a standoff here. There's only like a couple of men fighting.
Who do you think is going to win? The Isengard guy or the Elven? Oh! Isengard. He takes out his banner and that's what take gets him the edge. Stabbing that elf. Can he get another kill? That's the real question. He's fighting one Woodland and one uh, Noldorian elf. It's like a three-way competition. Between the elves, who can kill this guy first? And Isengard, can he beat these two elves? Oh, he's lost interest as the Linden elf. Don't, yeah, bring him back. Chop him down. There you go. Oh. But it does look like, I mean, they're forcing this side back now. I'm not quite sure what uh, Evil did wrong. I think there was certainly a chance over here uh, where they had the opportunity. There was a unit of half orcs that could have flanked around the uh, spears. I felt like that was a missed opportunity. Um, certainly blobbing up in the gates, not necessarily a good idea. It never really ends in a, a success. You just end up tiring your own troops and you're blobbing up. and just give, uh, Certainly for the elves, you're making nice easy targets for archers, which you just don't want to do. Got Berserkers here, fighting Hall Guardians. This will be an interesting matchup. I'm going to say uh, Hall Guardians will win. But yeah, apart from that, I can't see much going wrong. I mean, the Elves are like just really strong. And they're also defending this, seed, this city now. It's just like, it's going to be an uphill battle. I mean, they did have the numbers, did uh, like Dol Guldor. So it showed them the balance power. But the balance power just... When it comes to elves, it doesn't really matter. They'll they'll just look at, take a look at the balance power and go, okay, we can do better. But uh, yeah, I mean it's coming to an end now. We're down into the last final minutes, and it does look like the elves have got this well and truly. And I think that's another Isengard unit gone, yeah. And, I mean, the general's about to wave it here for Isengard. So, I mean, that's just going to cause a chain route. And then, yeah, that's it. That's all that's left, really. I didn't even see what happened to the Bane of the Steps. I presume what happened. Let's have a look. Did he just charge into this uh, choke point over here? Or do they have a fight out here? They look like they had a fight maybe out here. Well, the Elven King certainly died a bit out here. Hmm. Well, the Bane of the Steps dismounted. Oh, that was a silly move. They should have just stayed mounted. Yeah, that's that's what's happened then. They dismounted and they just got ran down by uh, just about anyone. But anyway, let's just fast forward quickly. Uh, there's no need to just sit around just to watch the elves get a few final kills. There we go. White Hand Storm is gone. Urukai Infantry gone as well. What's left then? What is left that's still standing? That's uh oh, it's the artillery crew all the way back here. Just, just run. You're not going to do anything. Just run. And there you go. The elves have won. It was a Peric victory indeed. It was a very close one. Um, so I will thank Mythic Geek for sending it in. Um, it was was a very excellent battle. So I mean, let's have a look quickly at his army first. Um, he did indeed bring. As it's generally brought a uh, Hall Guardians. His Hall Guardians got, um, for his uh, other two units, got 354 and 250. So not bad there at all. Um, his Lord's Last Garland getting six, uh, 363. Um, I mean, all getting over like 200. The expected. Apart from one unit, all got over 100 kills for his Blades as well. So well done there. Death Note. Um, I mean, yeah, he did also very well as well. He also got a lot of kills with his uh, Lord's Last Garland. Over 340. Well, 340 there. 242 there with his holes, uh, Hall Guardians and his uh, Blades mostly, well, all getting over 200 in his Spears, um, getting a fair amount of kills as well, and his Elven King doing not too shabby either. And then Lol Watt, who was playing as Linden, uh, 299 kills with his Lord Noldorian Swords, 227 with his uh, Noldor, oh my gosh, 481, well done there with that Noldorian Spear. His uh, Equestrian is getting 250. Shipwright Noble's getting 230, and his Spear's getting 287. Best there. And then let's have a look at the God Emperor of Mankind, 
He's playing as Rune. Um, he got a three, uh, three, 103 kills with his uh, Warlords of Rune. And that's actually the only unit that got over 100. Wow, I am surprised. I thought Rune was doing okay, uh, to be honest. He was basically fighting one and a half armies. He was having a, did have a tough time. Um, but yeah, he did okay. And then we've got uh, Lord Rudd here, who was playing as Dol Guldur. Um Yeah, had a rough time as well, to be honest. No, no units getting over 100 kills. It's a real shame there um, to see. Uh, as his best one being his Gold or Glaives getting like 17 champions and Dolgaldor getting 74. Dolgaldor just has a really rough time. They need trolls and stuff, does Dolgaldor. And maybe some range or some wags or something like that, they, just to give them a chance. So in Dolgaldor against Elves, it's just, it's not a f fun match to play if you're on Dolgaldor's side. Then Empty Bro, who was playing as Isengard, who I thought was probably the, probably the most effective of all the attackers. But even still, he didn't get many kills with uh, like over 100. You got like 162 with Zorokai Infantry here and his Berserkers getting 108 here. The best two out of that. It's like his White and Stormers, wherever they are. Um, I like did not do well at all. It's surprising for the amount of money you spend on them. But yeah, if you enjoyed that, guys, then please do leave a like. Subscribe if you're new around here and you want to see more Lord of the Rings uh, action or just, well, Rise of Mordor action or Lord of the Rings just generally. We can uh, try out some other mods as well for some other titles. And also feel free to leave a comment down below to show your support. And let's try and hit that 1,500 uh, subs uh, by the end of the month. I'm sure we can do it. Uh, anyway, guys, until next time, see you guys later.